So uh, today, since Aiden ditched me on Mother's Day Saturday for my mom, which is fine, uh, I he, he asked me to make cookies for the horse that he rides on now for horseback riding lessons. And so I'm going to show you guys how to make these little edible horse slash animal treats. Uh, they're good for pretty much any farm animal, pigs, goats, sheep, uh, horses, cows, and uh, dogs can eat them too. So we'll make these and I'll show you how. It's a really simple recipe. I looked all over the internet and looked for recipes and I didn't find one that I really liked so I kind of mishmashed and combined all of them together. So this is a recipe that you can definitely play with quite a bit and uh, add your own kind of match of ingredients. So what I have in the bowl already is about maybe three quarters of a cup of matchstick carrots. I'm using matchstick. You can grate ears. You can finely chop them. Uh, I use the matchstick because I kind of think it makes it look a little bit more rustic when every once in a while you see one with a little matchstick carrot sticking out of it. Uh, but go ahead, use shredded, use grated carrots. You just need about uh, half a cup to three quarters of a cup. And so that's in there. What I'm gonna do with my coffee grinder, this step you can skip completely if you want to. Uh, I'm using flaxseed because I like how flaxseed gives some good omega-3 fatty acids. I've got about a quarter of a cup of flax seeds in here. If you're going to use flax seeds, they have to be ground. So don't use just whole flax seeds because it's not going to hurt the horse, but it's just going to go right through their system. They're not going to digest it. So um, if you don't have flax seed or if you don't have a uh, coffee grinder, you can either leave this out or you can uh, just get flax powder or flax seed flour and use about a quarter of a cup. What I also have in here uh, on the bottom, there's another half a stick, but I got one whole stick of cinnamon. If you don't have sticks of cinnamon or if you don't have a coffee grinder, just use a teaspoon of cinnamon. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to pour all those in there. And I'm going to turn this on really quick. I'm just going to have it on fine and let it zhuzh those up a little bit. And I'll show you the, it kind of makes like a pasty flour. But that's all those really good omega fatty acids coming out. It's probably done enough. So it's like a fine ground flour. Uh, and it smells really good because it has the cinnamon in it. So it's like a flaxy cinnamony type smell. So I'm just going to dump all of that in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same grinder. And like I said, you don't have to use a grinder if you want to use almonds, uh, which are really good and have enough omega-3 fatty acids in them as well. They also have really good fiber and they're a good fiber source for horses. I'm using a honey and cinnamon almond just because we already have a uh, cinnamon in here and the honey's not going to hurt anything. So I'm going to use about a quarter of a cup. If you want, you can use an almond butter or even a little bit of an almond flour. Just adds a little bit more protein, a little bit more fiber. So I'm going to put these in here as well and grind these up. You don't need this step. You can put these as a medium or fine grind. If there's a few chunks of them left in there, that's fine. So I've got like one or two little chunks in there that I'm going to leave. Uh, but most of it is this fine almond pasty powder. Make sure you get all of that out of there. All right, so the next step is we're going to do six cups 
of oats. Now, a lot of the recipes that I found called for just quick cooking oats. I'm actually gonna use one cup of the whole uh, old fashioned oats. And then about five cups of the quick oats. And this batch makes quite a lot. If you can see over here on my tray, that's one batch. So one, two, three. And you don't have to get like horribly picky with measuring four because this, I mean, it's four animals. It doesn't have to be a perfect bake. Uh, but these do make nice little cookies. There's five. So six uh, of the oats all together. If you want, you can even grind up some of the oats and use that as a flour uh, instead of some of the other stuff that we put in there. So there's that. Now we're going to do about half of a cup of chia seeds. Chia seeds are amazing. Horses can have them. They're a really good source of a lot of vitamins and minerals. So I'm going to put half of a cup in there and then we're going to use one cup of applesauce so I've got unsweetened applesauce I'm just going to get all that out there use unsweetened because I mean a lot of this has some sugar in it we're going to be putting some molasses in it you don't need any extra sweetener for this, and a lot of horses can't take a lot of that extra sweetener. If you are going to make these for somebody else's horse, make sure, or somebody else's animals, make sure that you ask them first. Obviously, if you know anyone who has an almond allergy, ask them. While almonds really kind of aren't a nut, they are a fruit. Uh, some people do have an almond allergy as well. So that was one cup of applesauce, and I'm going to do about half of a cup or a little bit more of canned pumpkin. So these are really fiber and energy dense treats. I mean, I wouldn't give them a huge amount, but they're good for them. And because we're making them with some fresh fruit here in a minute and the fresh carrots, you want to put these in a tightly sealed jar and you probably want to use them up in a week or two. So that was our pumpkin, about half of a cup of pumpkin. We're going to do a third of a cup of unsulfured molasses. Oh my gosh, I love the smell of molasses. I want to like dive into these. <laughs> I'm thinking about trying them later because they don't have anything in them that humans can't eat. It's all human grade. All right, so that's a third of a cup of molasses. And then we're gonna add, uh, we already added our grated carrots. We already added our cinnamon. Like I said, if you don't have a grinder, you could just add a teaspoon of already fresh ground cinnamon. And we're gonna take one apple and we're gonna grate it. You don't wanna grate the core. You mainly just wanna grate the sides. This is just going to add a little bit more liquid in because these are a relatively dry doughy batter. If you don't feel like grating an apple, you could probably put in a little bit more applesauce to get that texture, but I like the apple skin, it has more nutrients, and the apple itself has a good amount of nutrients as well. I'm going to get all that off of there. And I'm going to throw this in my little compost jar over here so I can take it out to the compost heap later. All right. So this is just a little bit of the extra that uh, batter that I had from the last recipe. Uh, from the last batch so I'm just going to add this in just because I wanted to mix it all together and then you just mix 
You're going to get your hands dirty with this one. So you want to mix it all in. If you need to, you can add a little bit of water to make it a little bit more dough-like. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. But you want to make sure all of those carrots are incorporated. All of the oats are incorporated. You just get in here and kind of mix it all together. Now with this, you can just make it into balls and make regular cookies. Or you can do it the way I'm doing it, which is with a little mold. So you see it all comes together kind of in a big ball. It's going to be a little dry, but that's fine because you're going to pack it together. Let me wash my hands really quick and I'll show you how to do this. So I've got little silicone molds that I'm using. You can use, you know, anything from mini muffin tins to large muffin tins to uh, brownie trays, whatever you want. But these, I have the little silicone molds. Um, I've got a flower shape and a heart shape. And so I'm just going to grease those, put them on a baking sheet. So I'm just going to use some olive oil spray. And then I'm going to take this into small portions. Make it kind of into a ball in my hand. And I'm going to press it into my mold. You can make them heaping. You can make them so they're just filling the mold themselves. You can pretty much do whatever you want with this recipe. Then we're going to pop them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. If your animals like more of a soft cookie type consistency or a cake type consistency, you're done at the end of 30 minutes. Just let them cool. If they like more of a crisp type, uh, which these are kind of the crisp, I made them a little bit more crisp so Aiden could handle them a little easier when he goes to his riding lesson horse. Then after the 30 minutes at 350 degrees, you put them in at 175 for about 30 more minutes, and then you let them sit and dry. So I just have them sitting on my cookie rack and letting them dry that way. So let me go over this recipe as a recap. We have six cups of oats. I did one cup of old fashioned oats and five cups of the quick cooking oats. We have a half of a cup of chia seeds. We have a quarter of a cup of flax seed that we've ground up. We have a quarter of a cup of honey almond or honey cinnamon almonds that we've ground up as well. And we have one teaspoon of cinnamon or I ground one stick of cinnamon. Then we have one cup of applesauce, a half of a cup of pumpkin, a third of a cup of molasses, the unsulfured molasses, one cup of your either grated carrot, matchstick carrot, you know, some sort of a carrot that way. You could probably even use a carrot puree if you wanted to. It might make it a little bit more liquidy and you might want to take out some of the other applesauce. But that would be just fine, like a baby food carrot puree. And then we grated one apple in. And we're going to cook it at 350 for 30 minutes if we want a cake-like consistency. If we want it crunchier, then after that 350 at 30 minutes, we're going to do 175 at for 30 minutes in the oven. And let them dry. All right. Hopefully you guys like these treats. Feed them to your animals. They are vet approved, obviously. See you guys.